What could drive someone to support violent extremism? Researchers have long suggested that people are drawn to violent extremist ideologies largely because of their education, religion or economic class. But new research conducted by UN Women and the Monash Gender Peace and Security Centre suggests otherwise. Monash surveyed over 3,000 people, evenly split between men and women, in Indonesia, Bangladesh and the Philippines. The results revealed a shocking truth. More than any other factor, support for violence against women predicted a person's support for violent extremism. Regardless of their gender, individuals who condoned men using violence against women were three times more likely to support violent extremism than those who condemned it. Similarly, people who held extreme sexist views were more than 2.5 times more likely to support violent extremism than people who strongly disagreed with these attitudes. Men were more likely than women both to accept sexist attitudes and justify violence against women. This finding is crucial for the study of terrorism because it can be used to identify the risks of violent extremism within groups. The risk will be higher among individuals with hostile sexist attitudes or who justify violence against women. This research also showed that misogyny, defined as fear and hatred of women, was an integral part of the ideology and identity of current violent extremist groups. To protect communities from violent extremism, we must consider gender as a key issue. We must work to tackle sexist attitudes and stereotypes in both men and women, and to promote gender equality. Women must be empowered to become agents of change. This will lead to safer and more gender equal communities for all. View the full research on UN Women's website at asiapacific.unwomen.org or by clicking the link below.